so here you can check whenever we are saying a gap and flush so gap and flush are nothing but the two important values into the automotive plastic or whenever we are assembling two components okay so any two component going to be assembled like a three to one principle we need to have this gap and flush this condition will be nothing but the gap between the part as well as the surface level difference okay so we'll check over here gap and flush so gap and flush is nothing but we're going to be have a gap is called as distance between the two assembled component it is a distance between two assembled components okay so here you can check like many of you going to be have gap so gap will be positive negative or zero okay so this is something with the positive negative or the zero suppose there will be a two component like this one this one will be something like this and another will be something like here we're going to be have the style okay so when we model this particular part so when we model this particular part so there will be always something like the gap condition we need to maintain okay so here you can find in this particular part a and b we need to keep for some gap okay so whatever we have the gap from the front side if you just check from this direction so this to this there has to have some gap okay so that gap is nothing but the distance between the part okay so the distance between the part is nothing but the gap so here we need to have the gap condition so we can just have part something like this so there's a condition we're going to be have and in that case the style need to be trimmed somewhere here okay so style we need to trim and can check like what are the style we have so that we need to modify or the trim somewhere so from class side whatever we have the distance between two component from class side whatever we have the distance from the so in in two component that is known as a gap okay so this gap is very much important with respect to tolerance stack up like if this particular red part shift over here by 0.1 0.2 or by some distance and similar ways this part is shift opposite direction but again in this direction as well so that there should be assembly should be possible okay so always it is make sure like whatever the part we are designing manufacturing that has to get assembled to the vehicle without any problem when it's going to be get assembled okay so maximum time the assembly should be happen that is the only case okay so in this area you can find in this area in this area whatever you are the part so this is you can check like this will be the one part this will be the second part so here the gap is maintained not only for aesthetic purpose not only for the aesthetic purpose as well as assembly point of view so that is known as tolerance stack up okay so the taller in in tolerance stack up definitely we can check the variation how much will be the variation in this particular distance okay so x plus or minus y similar ways from here to here what will be decision y plus or minus x okay so this will be the condition so whatever the deviation will be so that deviation need to be get accumulated and with respect to that whenever we have the gap something like z so that z gap will be plus or minus x or y okay so this x y are nothing but the values so that might be it might be anything so these are nothing but the distances we have suppose the maximum gap we want is something like 1 mm gap we have on uh, plus or minus we're going to be at the 0.5 so max to max gap is acceptable is 1.5 and mean to mean gap is expected is something like 0.5 
Okay, so this value we are getting from the tolerance stack up. Tolerance stack up is nothing but the process to evaluate the variation into the two parts with respect to that, the condition of the gap. Okay, to evaluate the condition of the gap, we need to do the tolerance stack up. And with respect to that, it's going to be get this value of gap with respect to maximum and minimum gap. And according to that, we can fix the value, which gap we need to keep and what will be the tolerance. Okay. So this is a very much important. We need to have a gap into the part because it is not possible to manufacture any component. It is not possible to manufacture any component exactly accurately repeated. Okay. So we are we are having something like the more than 100 vehicles going to be get assembled in a day in any of the plant or less like more or less 100. So whenever we are talking about the door panel, pillar trim, so that pillar will not be manufactured accurately with respect to the exact size what we are mentioning design. Okay, so there might be a chances we're going to be get the deviation into the gap. So with respect to that, according to that, whatever we're going to be called as a gap, gap is nothing but the distance between the two assembled component. Okay, so it might be, it might be positive, it might be negative, it might be zero. Okay, so this is something like we have the positive, negative or the zero. So the gap will be positive in which manner. So whatever we have the existing gap, this we can say as a positive. Then zero is again, we're going to be have the touching condition. So that we can say the zero. What will be the negative? Negative will be something like intersecting. Okay, so it will be intersect somewhere here. So this will be possible. Intersection will be possible only. If that is a soft part, okay? So this will be negative one. Okay, whatever we already exist, this will be positive one. Whatever we are in color in green, so that will be zero gap. Okay, so these are nothing but the gap condition we have positive, negative, and zero. So it doesn't mean it doesn't mean that we cannot create a part with the zero zero condition. We can create the part with the zero zero condition, but due to manufacturability, due to manufacturability, definitely it might be get very. And it doesn't mean like we cannot control zero gap. But again, if you want to control the zero gap, definitely there will be tolerance will be get added. Okay. So what will be the tolerance that will be get added? Okay, so this is something I'm going to be saying. Whenever there is a condition of having gap, so gap will be positive, negative, or the zero. We can achieve the zero gap, but definitely there will be tolerance. Okay. So each and every dimension we are providing over here that will be with tolerances okay so why we require the gap so mainly two purposes we have one will be we cannot go for the manufacturing accurately as well as we require the aesthetic purpose so the differentiation we're going to be get in between two parts so that will be get a separation kind of thing we'll get for the theme color coding or anything we're going to be used so here we're going to be get this gap okay so any two component is not something like the zero gap it's not possible it is a very much possible so anyone having doubt over here into the gaps, we can go for that. Yes, anyone having doubt in gap? Excuse me, sir. Yes. Sir, so the tolerance that you mentioned, sir, that uh, mm -hmm. we have a client or that will be given by the technical team, sir. No, no, we are getting from uh, OEM. If you are working for the OEM, we are getting that particular gap and flush sheet. Okay. So in that gap and flush sheet, you will get that values. And that will be pro yes. like after doing the tolerance stack up, it will be done. Okay. So that yes. will be provided. So here you can check like same condition we, we have seen the gap will be positive in that case and definitely you can find so this is the same condition we have for the part one part two then we have the clearance so whatever we have from the a side whatever we have from the a side that is called as a gap whatever we have in opposite side or the any other than that it will, it will be known as a clearance okay so this is a clearance whatever we have somewhere here it will be called as a gap so gap is nothing but gap is nothing but distance from a side between two part two adjacent part so that is called as a gap okay so clearance is nothing but again a distance 
but it will be not the same. It will be again the adjacent part, but it is not visible, not from the class side. Clear? So whenever is we are saying from the class side, then it's called as a gap. Rather than that, everything will be nothing but as a clearance. Okay, so this is something like we're going to be have with the gap. So this condition is for the positive gap. So this is a condition for the positive gap. Thank you.